It's hard to believe that you can make solid silver jewellery from wax. And it's by using a process called lost wax casting. This technique has been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years. What you do is make a detailed wax model. Wax is a great material to use because it is soft, it can be carved, it can be filed and it can be melted. It's also really cost effective. Once you're happy with your wax model, a wax sprue is then attached. The wax model and sprue are then placed in a container and covered with a heat resistant investment material such as plaster and this creates a mould. The next stage is burnout. The mould is heated to a high temperature causing the wax to melt and burn out of the mould but what is left is that cavity of the shape of the original wax model. Molten metal such as gold, silver or platinum is then poured into that cavity that has been left by the melted wax. Once the metal has cooled and solidified, the investment material is broken away, revealing the metal casting. The casting is then cleaned and polished and any final details such as stone setting are done. The lost wax casting process allows jewellers to create intricate and detailed metal jewellery that would be really difficult to achieve in other traditional metalworking techniques. Using the lost wax casting process also means that you can make a rubber mould from your wax and you can make duplicates. Carving wax is a really easy process that you can get to grips with at home without the need for a lot of tools. The wax you need for making jewellery comes in lots of different forms including sheet and tube. The tube is perfect for making rings for example. Blue wax is the softest wax. Gold wax is great for milling. 